Hey, today we're going to be going into Proxmox. We're going to be showing you how to automatically start up each and one of your VMs. So for example, if you reboot your server and then you have to log into it and start all your VMs, well, I'm going to show you how to automatically do that and you don't have to touch a thing. So let's go right into it. So the first thing you want to do is obviously log into your Proxmox environment, go to that particular VM that you want to automatically start up and you're going to want to select options. Once you're in options, go to start at boot, change this, hit edit, and we're going to check boxes. And now when your server completely reboots, it'll automatically start up this VM. So in our case, we want to boot up both VMs. So we're going to go ahead and go in here and go to options, start, same thing like we did the other one, start it up. So another cool feature is the startup and shutdown order. So what that is talking about is what order you want the VMs to boot up in. So let's say I want this uh, server to boot up first. So I would actually just choose one. And then if I want to start up delay, I can do, you know, 20 seconds or whatever, but we don't need to do anything like that. So we'll just say this will boot up first. And then we'll go to our second VM here and we'll say we'll boot this up second. So basically when the dead dedicated server boots up, it's going to boot up this VM first. And then as soon as that's done, then it's going to power on this VM. Now, if you don't care what order, then you can just simply leave this to the default as any reboot your dedicated server. And you can see that the VMs were automatically boot up. So let's go ahead and test that out. So we're going to go ahead and power down our VMs here and we're going to restart our server. So we are just waiting for our one VM to power down here. Once that gets done being powered down, we're going to go click on our server and then we're going to go ahead and hit reboot. And then when we reboot, you're going to automatically see both VMs power on, which is going to be a very nice feature and you can see that vm is now powered down so let's go ahead and reboot and hit yes because we want to reboot it and we'll wait a couple minutes here for this to come back up okay the dedicated server is fully rebooting now you will get this communication failure because it's trying to connect to that particular host and it's not able to so like i said we'll just wait for this to clear back up and it's booted back up all right the server has come back up and you can see in the logs it already popped up but it automatically started both vms automatically i didn't touch a thing so this is awesome so you can see we can go into that vm and you can see it is actually booting up the servers no problem i hope this video was helpful you guys on learning how to automatically boot up your vms in your proxmox environment stay tuned for more videos and tips with proxmox i'll see you guys in the next one